What's up? What's up, Chimichanga butts? Today we're gonna, today we're gonna go over a monster. Oh, the Wind Mystic Witch, Cilia. Um, so we're gonna check her out. We're gonna see what she's good for. Now she's not as commonly used as her counterpart, Megan, the Water Mystic Witch, just because Megan is so awesome. It's really hard to, uh, it's really hard to reach that level of excellence for a uh, a natural three star. But uh, Cilia does have her uses, so we'll check them out. Uh, first one, Crow Summoning. Summons Crows to attack the enemy and inflicts continuous damage for one turn with a 50% chance. Same as the other Mystic Witches. Um, she has uh, element advantage over water, though. Uh, then we have Jealousy, which is actually my favorite skill of hers. Uh, attacks all enemies, AoE. Power of Jealousy and weakens the defense for two turns with a 50% chance. The effect is activated with a 100% chance if the enemy has beneficial effects. So, AoE, you already know what I'm going to say. Yeah, I'm going to say that people are texting me in the middle of uh, doing a video, so that's awesome. Um, AoE, Despair, I like Despair with AoEs. This is actually pretty nice for... Uh, and it's a pretty nice AoE for Despair 2 because you can weaken the defense. She's going to be good with accuracy in the first place because she's got that, the, uh, the dots. Uh, so you're going to want accuracy on her as well. So I'd say maybe uh, Despair and Focus. Uh, this would be nice to do uh, speed on 2-4 to have nice speed. Um, so you can speed, potentially speed, stun, and weaken defense. Uh, really incapacitate your uh, your opponents, so that's cool. And then we have the curse, the third skill. Inflicts damage with a curse, also blocking beneficial effects and disturbing HP recovery for two turns with an 80% chance. Um, beneficial effects, who uses those a lot? We have, let's see, we have Asasis, so it'd be nice for Asasis. Uh, kind of actually takes her down, takes her down a peg because it stops her from having a beneficial second skill and third skill. Uh, second skill, she can still do uh, do the damage, the AoE damage, potentially stun uh, your team if you're using the uh, the Wind Mystic Witch, but it's, it's, nice, uh, it's nice for that. Not as good against Chloe since we have the disadvantage element-wise uh, against Chloe, uh, but it is, nice, uh, it is nice against that as well. If you think about this for Rena, though, this is actually pretty nice against her too. We have the advantage over Rena with the uh, the element, and then we also this blocks beneficial effects for two turns, two turns. So blocks her passive shield, and then uh, disturbs HP recovery, which stops her from using her first and second skills. Uh, second skill is going to uh, recover the HP, and the first skill is actually going to absorb part of uh, the attack, uh, part of the HP that you do, uh, the damage that you do in the attack. So sometimes it's hard to, sometimes you don't remember like, oh yeah, Rena does, she sucks up uh, sucks up some HP, but uh, it, it does do that. So this is actually very good against, uh, very good against Rena. Um, and Asasis as well, I think. Uh, and then the leader skill increases the resistance of alley monsters in the arena by 26%. I don't think you're going to use her in the uh, as your arena leader very often. It's basically like a poor man's, um, like a poor man's Katarina, but it's it's just it's not really it's not really worth it. It's just resistance, um, and it's just the arena, and it's really not a huge percentage. I mean, if it was like HP, then I'd be like, oh hey, that's pretty nice, or defense, that would be pretty nice too. But uh, I don't I don't like her leader skill. Her uh, her second skill is I think my my favorite. So this is kind of like um, this kind of like Lure has uh, has the same skill. He has the AOE weak in defense. Same thing with the occult girl as well. So she's kind of like a uh, she's kind of like a cheap version of uh, an easier to get version of the the water phantom thief and the uh, and the occult girl. So, uh, so yes. So we do have the. Uh, we do have the dungeon at the time that I'm making this video. We're going to have the dungeon open very shortly. So I think, uh, I think, oh, five minutes. This is like one of my shortest videos ever. So I'll cut it off there. Um, 
that is the that is the wind mystic witch so i hope you guys enjoy this like comment subscribe um and like i said uh despair focus i think speed uh speed on two and hit points and defense even though she's an attack monster i think i think you want to make her she's more of a support in my mind um try to get good overall stats but accuracy is going to be very nice for her she, all of her skills require uh high accuracy so despair focus and uh she'll she'll do you right she'll do you right but i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and as usual i will see you in the next video